Hey everybody, Kit Cummings, Memphis, Tennessee, at a very, very significant place, uh, not just in the history of our country, but also very, very significant in my life. Um, I've been fascinated with Dr. King and his work and his life. Uh, strangely, for all my life, I felt called and drawn to him and what he stood for and what he died for. Uh, my father passed away on his birthday, January the 15th, 1988. And then we started a very significant peace movement at Georgia's most violent prison, January the 15th, 2011. And uh, of course, that's Dr. King's birthday here at the Lorraine Motel uh, where he died. I've always wanted to come here and I'm getting ready to tour the uh, Civil Rights National Museum and learn more about this uh, this man and obviously I've become a big student of Mr. Gandhi. I'm on my way to meet Mr. Mandela prayerfully if his health will allow it in, uh, in about 10 days headed to South Africa to thank him for the work that he did but those three men have changed my life and my work forever and now we go into dangerous prisons and inner city high schools and we teach the principles that they lived for and died for and that Mr. Mandela is still living for in South Africa and we try to help men be free. There's over two million men incarcerated in this country and they need somebody to, to come in and love them, to see them and to teach them a better way so that they can go home and raise their sons and we can save this young generation that's lost its way. Um, many years ago a man stood in that building and fired a shot across to that balcony and thought he had extinguished a dream. And the truth is, he only ignited a fire that still burns today. And I'm proud to be able to, to be a part of it and to carry it on. Please go to thepowerofpeace.org, thepowerofpeace.org, and join us as we try to help fathers turn back to their sons and sons to get off the streets and and off the course that's going to bring them to, to prisons or to cemeteries. And the dream still lives. God bless you. Please join us.